Hello, hello. Okay. Um, yeah, I want to try something different, to totally different. And maybe I even not do this in the past, not once, I guess. So I am very excited and I'm going to try it out. Do I want this right away on this um, tunnel? Maybe not. So because I never tried it. So maybe I am just going to cut. Um, yeah, I am. I am just going to use my design paper for this. So I'm just going to cut this down 7 by 9. And then just, just, just a fraction millimeter smaller than a 7 by 9. Just a little tiny bit. So when I'm done, it fits nicely on here. I'm always check, check, check. Oh, I think I can be smaller, just because you don't want to overlap things. Check, check, check. Yeah, this fits nice. Yep, cool. So this is my base. Okay. I am very curious how this will go. So what we need with these is just leftover pieces. You can use even the smallest ones. Alright, so what we're going to do, we are going to... Um, yeah, now I'm curious, do we need to cut down or can we fold it? I think we even can fold it. No, wait just a second. Can we? I don't know how many do we need then. I want to do as many as possible, of course. So I don't know. I'm just going to grab a new, new page. All right. <laughs> what in the name I am going through? No clue. All right, so first of all, I need to cut this down same size as this one. I guess, or shall we do need a little bit for the... No, I don't think. Let me just first cut this. Here we go. Okay, so that's the same size. We are going to make some... Um, some fold lines and we're gonna make something accordion style so I am gonna score and I have no clue how many no clue for now so I'm just gonna score I think I'm gonna score them all just to see and maybe then I'm gonna split it in half I don't know just Go with the flu. See where this ends. I have something in mind with some file folders and an accordion style pocket idea. So I'm just go for it and see what it does. The last one can be cut down. There we go. All right, so next I want this each time a level lower. So let's see. Okay, so each two, I don't want to fold it down just yet, but each two, I guess, is one. Mm, I think it is. Oh my gosh. Wait just a second. Just gonna try it out. Just real quick. Or is three making one? Yeah, I'm terrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't plan things that much. <laughs> All right, so this I do have with three pieces. Yeah, and then here is the next one. So it's actually one, two, 
And then actually you have the, the next one, one, two. All right. And how many do we have here? Two, four, six, eight, ten. That makes already five. I think we're going to split this in half. And then I still think that we have enough. How many do we have? Let's split this in half. Let's just split this in half. Let's see. Let's see how many them that we have. All right, so I'm gonna cut this down on that full line. There we go. So how many do I have? One, two, three, four, five. Let's just go with that. So first I like to make a little mark at let's say three. Yep. So this is three inches wide right here. I'm just gonna test it out guys. And now, before folding, I am going to cut this down from the corner till that mark. Oh, goody. And I'm going to do the opposite side with this one. So, we're going to make a mark. Three inch. And we're going to cut this down. Oh, what am I doing? All right, now we're gonna fold it. So we do have two pieces, just like this. Oh, okay, fingers crossed. Because now we're gonna fold it down as a accordion. In between, I do like to burnish it down. this looks when it's ready. Last one. Alright. Then this looks like this. Super cute. I hope you can see that. That is cute. It is. I think only the last one needed to be one direction this way so i think i need to cut it down just one but maybe who knows let's just do this one too these two. Cool. I think if I'm just, you know, I was trying to say maybe I can split these in two. Well, let's see. Because we do need something on top this one. So maybe that's even better that it's on the outside. Cool. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, first of all, I am going to smudge my edges there we go and now what's the best way shall we put this under or on top I think if I put it under, it's neater. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. 
I'm gonna put this on the right here. You can use tape or you can just use I'm gonna use tape that's more convenient for me. Alright, let's find a new one. one side. Let's go to that next. <coughs> Sorry guys, just a little dusty throat. Super excited, guys! I am super excited how this will turn out. So fingers crossed. All right, this looks awesome. All right, now we're gonna do the front. So we do need to have a nice piece of white here on top. So just grab. Out. These are too small ears, unfortunately, they are too small. So first, I think the best way to do this is just measure this size. It is the same size as this one, as the back, so I think at least. Check it out. Always check all things twice. Well, it's even a little bit bigger than my mark, so there you go. And where do we want this? Well, exactly the same. Well, it's a three inch, of course, but. Always check, 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 I think it's a 3 inch, let's check, is it a 3 inch, yep it is, with a slightly smaller, just a slight, okay, and then this needs to go, oh I could have made a bottom, gone, totally forgot, a nice slip around, okay, thank god I have a long, an extra one, I want to have it, um, let's just first do a flippity flop so I can wrap it around, let's say a half inch, uh, one inch, so I can wrap it around, and maybe I also want a 1-8 extra. Yep, I think that's a good... Uh, oh my gosh, what I'm doing here? Oh, totally folded. Not nice. Damn, stay focused, stay focused. Stay focused, please. There we go. 
guys. Here we have that one eight. Fold it. And then I'm going to cut it at 3 inches. Alright, so what I did is, this is 3 inch, then I have it 1 8, and then the rest is for the, for the extra. For the extra, okay, that makes not sense, but... <laughs> Alright, so now what I'm going to do... I am going to place tape on this one just along that 1 8 fold line. You don't want to overcross the fold line. You definitely don't want it. Here we go. I even can make another one because I made a long flip. cut down a little from the edges but not the 1 8 all right so now I want this to on the right spot I hope I measure it all correctly I also can do this on the back so what's convenient what is? What is wisdom? I have no clue. <laughs> I have no clue. I also gonna put this on. There we go. Okay. So that is the idea. I think I'm gonna put a clem on something. It holds it down just a little bit, but not on the not on the hinge where I need to glue it down. Just under. Okay. Okay, now this needs to go on here, this on the other side, just going to check if it all fits nice, check, 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 and then I think I start with this one. Shall we do this on the... No, I think we... Mm -mm. I think we can do the fold lines later. Yeah, I think we can do that. Now, let's do the same as I normally do. I will peel off a little corner. Stick it outside. I'm just going to place this on this side, but I'm watching, I'm watching right here where my first fold line is, because it needs to go around it. So when this is on the spot, don't move, and I just go around to this one. Now I see I can move this a little to the right, so it's equal. down, peel it off, and there you go. Let's go to this side. And press it down. Okay. Looks strange to me, but 
but but but but but okay let's go to the back and then I'm going to press this down as good as I can See that one eight gives us nice space. Super cool. Oh wow, this is cool. I love it. So now what you have is look on the sideways. I really like it. So yeah, it looks amazing. So you can start with a big, a big card, and then start with a lower card, and then go down. Oh wow, I love it. I hope you'll love it too. Um, what to decorate on front? Maybe the same, the same paper. Then it mostly look like it's one. At least I hope that gives a noise vibe. Cut this down. I'm not gonna glue this down just yet because maybe we want a nice closure or something. I don't know, maybe a complete page over it, but look at this. This is cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh my gosh, I really like it. So what do you think? Oh, I really like the side. Oh, the side look of this. Oh my gosh. Nice thick one. I like it. I like it. And you can make... Now I did it sideways, as you can see. But you also could, could make the same idea, but then this direction. But I made it this way, but... But the other way direction was also nice. The same thing, but then just cut your papers longer. Yeah, I really like it. I do. Super cool. All right, so it was a tryout. So next step is make some tags in here. And then we are going to put it in. So what do you think? Cool, isn't it? And then when it's done, we'll see how I'm going to put this in. Maybe with a extra page to put in here or something or a flap or oh yeah I already know a nice flap with a nice closure maybe a magnet this time something like that all right stay tuned guys stay tuned all right so I'm gonna start making the tags that I want to fit in these and I definitely want these to be halfway down the accordion spots, you know what I mean. So let's just cut it, or maybe just first watch how wide this is. Well, in my case, it's let's say an eight and a half inch. I think that fits nicely. See, it's not too too wide but I still keep in my yeah an eight and a half inch for my sake all right now my first one I'm just gonna put that in all the way down to the bottom and then I'm just going to because I am gonna make some tabs so I am gonna cut this fully well maybe just a small 
millimeter smaller than my mark. So it still fits. There it goes. That's number one. Yes. And then each one I am going to cut down eight and a half, same size. But then each time I'm going to cut this down a half inch smaller, lower, smaller. So this was, this was, yeah, it's not a seven, it's a smaller one, but it's easier for me to just put this on top and then make a half inch lower. Yes, that is easier. Why break your head? If you just can make a mark on the wrong piece. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. On the wrong one. Yeah, yeah. It's still working, of course. Just make this a little lower. Put this on. I definitely want this half inch lower. Alright, and then each time I can make that same thing till all are done. Alright, I have no clue how many we need, but I think a few. So I can cut a few. Pull it, a few. At one time. And then we can these all down each time a little lower yeah yeah but yeah measure 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 it Diane just measure it that's so much better I know I know I know I know but I am not in the let me just see in centimeters for me it's so much easier guys it's 17 and a half but a half inch is a little bit more. Mm. Yes, 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 yes. Let's see what's this done. This is a 6, 5, 16. Oh my gosh. That's not easy for me to see what half inch it is. <laughs> I'm terrible. I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew. I'm gonna just gonna do my mine in centimeters because for me it's so much easier. What's a half inch in centimeters? I think it's one point four or one point three. Let's say one point three centimeters. So, if the smallest one is 16, then this one needs to be 15 points right here. Let me check. Check, 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 check. Yep, nice. Okay, maybe there was a better way. I bet that way is a better way, but. <laughs> Did I now just cut completely the wrong one? Nope, nope, nope. Oh, yes, nope, nope, I did not. Whew, thank God. <laughs> oh, I'm terrible, yes. In measurings, I'm not good. Not good at all. Alright, 14 and a half. So my next one needs to be 14, 13 and a half minus 3 millimeters. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Cool. How many can we do, by the way? I have no clue. No clue at all. Did 
do. All right, first one, second one. One. I think one more because this one is closed. Yeah, one more. Cool. I think I even could make these a little larger. Could have done that, but this is uh, this is okay. All right. <laughs> I should have done the middle because we have five ones I should have done the middle in the middle that makes sense so I am definitely going to do the middle one in the middle <laughs> that's for sure what I want to do but then I'm gonna do first, so this is my middle. All right, let's give me the two mark here. Yeah, 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 everything comes together, but definitely can't tell. It's gonna be working. This is very quick and broken, but it's okay. All right, so I do have my two. Oh, why are the papers always? I do see too many. Oh yeah, because that's what that was the middle. Why there is one more here? I have no clue. That is the middle. Half inch here. And a half inch here. This is pretty much in the middle. Thank God. So actually with the the first, the last, and the middle one, especially if you have an uneven set, then you can do this very easily. I don't uh, only the, the second one and the final last one. It's not that easy, but now we're just going to see how it all comes together. Put way too much on. Okay. <laughs> One to go. Okay. And then the last one needs just I definitely want this to be right here. 
So I guess... I'm just gonna... So if my next one will be... A two, I'm just gonna eyeball this, guys. I can, because I know my top is two. And I definitely want this to overlap. And this is a little in the middle, so I'm just gonna make my two right here and then the rest we just can measure yeah fingers crossed guys fingers crossed fingers crossed that that is maybe nice there we go so that is my two and then i want here a half inch further and a half inch further than that. Alright, let's cut it down. Sometimes it's eyeballing so much better than measuring. Oh yes. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Nope. It does not have to be perfect. Yeah, yeah, yes. Okay. I have a little nail break just a moment ago, but I think I think everything went pretty well. Oh. not perfect and even <laughs> do you see my mistake I did make a mistake because this one actually needed to be here <laughs> this one here this one here this one this is actually the correct size see what I mean I totally this miss this is actually one, two, three, four step away. <laughs> I messed it up, guys. I messed it up. Oh my gosh. I just messed it up. I had to measure it from here. Okay. Can I solve this? Yeah. So flip this round and this round or the opposite side. See, then it looks nice <laughs> I also can flip these around. oh my gosh what a struggles what a struggles I don't need to only these two oh yes only these two yeah if I just place um, design paper on that then it's solved <laughs> oh I'm crazy. Yes, I am. Okay. Anyways, I hope <laughs> that it makes sense all. I hope it does. Sorry. <laughs> Alright guys, so I fixed my mistake uh, with putting <laughs> papers on and a few are now on the back too. But okay, that's not a big deal. But I really like how this actually turns out. So what do you think? 
super cool very thick but nice you can add pictures on here but you also can put your pictures right here you you even can glue these down as big pockets like here at the front see that how many space there is cool i really like it super cool so you can add things in here but you also can use these to take out put something on or just leave them in just what you want i like it um, i'm gonna make a closure for this um because i think it's already nice and thick but i also could leave it like this because it's nice thick but i'm gonna see if i'm gonna add a um a nice flap on here a nice closure i think but look at this oh my god i love so cool so cool so let's make a i call that top lid closure i have no idea envelope closure anyways i will see you but first i need to cook my dinner yeah yeah <laughs> okay how to make a lid a nice closure for this one um just grab a piece of paper i do have plenty leftover pieces right here because I miscut some hmm. this then oh they all are too small good all right all right so first of all you need to cut down this same size as this one it's the back cut it down Yeah, now first let's do, um, well, I think you also can do first, see how far we can get. And I think I like to go halfway. So I'm just going to eyeball this and I'm going to make a mark. So there I want to make my fold line. And of course we need some gusset. Because it's a big, 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 big. So I'm, I am gonna go for the one fourth. All right, and then the rest, yeah, I can cut it off, or I don't think it's even necessary. But here we go. Yes, all right. Now this looks pretty big, but necessary. Look how cool this is. Big fat envelope it almost looks like. All right, so I don't think we are going to do much more. Maybe only cutting the corners. Makes it a little bit nice. So yes, that's it guys. So we do a magnet closure. Instead of a thread closure, the, I call that envelope closure. Also nice of course, but yeah, you can do whatever you want, of course. You can do whatever you want. Alright, this is pretty much it. Let's see how I can attach this nice. Maybe the same method. Let's see if we can do that. Move 
moving forward, backwards. big increase gusset cool all right so yep now think of how do you like a closure for this one um, I think I am gonna use a magnet to see if that that will work so that's why I did not apply that right away but I think, yeah, I think I like that a lot. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna place down. Yeah, there was one falling down. These are very small. All right, I have two. Alright, what I like to do is put some tape on it to place them down. I think two will do. And then I'm just going to put that on. Off. I'm going to try to make this as tight as possible so I'm just going to put this flat and I'm going to try to keep this straight as well and then just push it down oh yeah it was already stick on so that's that's cool now will this hold this down I hope it does. I think it does. Look how nice this looks. Ah, I love it. I love it, but it also can nicely flat. So yeah, I think I think it will hold down. I don't think that we do need another one. Very flimsy. Do I have strong magnets? I don't know. I'm not gonna test it out, otherwise, I always can um, put. Let me first do some um, design paper on it, but I think it will hold. Yeah, this is going to be on the page. Can be flat. Yeah. All right. <laughs> oh, the only thing I forgot to mention is that I like to secure this with some tape. And of course, if I put design paper on, then I will take this off. But for now, I just put it on. Yes. All right. Let's decorate. All right, so what do you think? I really like how this turns out. So I cut out these three letters. I put some wet underneath so it has a little bit more color. Otherwise, it's very brown and black. But I really like how this turned out. I open this up. Um, of course, the leftover pieces I used first. I did cut out this little, little guy and then put it on the little mother goose. Um, yeah, I really like how this turns out, guys. Maybe there is a nice image that I can find too, but I don't want to. Oh, here is the 
these are the magnets so it can be done but what do you think cool isn't it the magnets are pretty hmm will it hold will it hold i don't know i am gonna do a extra secure so i did put some tape at the bottom and before i'm gonna add this on here i just like to be safe so i am sure that that in in the time that we are going to use it and maybe the magnets are i don't know why they are not that good but just to be sure i am gonna use a ribbon and we're gonna place at the bottom So thank God I just made first the page and then I'm going to put it on. So that's my secureness. So I put some tape on the back. I'm going to peel that off. And of course I'm also going to use glue so I can wiggle a little. Sometimes it's needed to have some extra. Alright, so I'm just going to put some glue all the way around to make sure that it will hold nice. And then some in the middle too, just to be safe. Alright, and then just place it on your page. I'm just going to start... I think right here at the bottom. Yeah, put it on. And that's very convenient when the tape is on makes it possible but look how fat this is this is so cool i just love it i'm just gonna make sure that my tape and my glue is everywhere yes all right and then this ribbon is just an extra thing if it's not holding as it should be then we just can use the ribbon of course now I am going to use the ribbon otherwise it's going to be loose everywhere so <laughs> I can like my ribbon right here that can be tied oh wait just a sec Alright, so to secure this extra, extra, here we go, always checking, be careful if you do this, but it will hold better for the ribbon. Yeah, it's like a little present. So guys, this is a big fat page, glad I made the tunnel page. Alright, so yeah, super cool. Love it. Look at that. Alright, guys. <laughs> I think I have enough pages already and I was not even planned to do any pages for this project. But okay, yeah, I'm addicted. I know I am addicted to making pages. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you will like it. And um, I think it's time to put everything together. So stay tuned if you want to see some more shorts. And at least I'm going to try to make them short, but you never know with me. All right, till next time. Bye-bye.